Hey guys, I'm Kyoko. Welcome back to what is probably gonna be the last part of my first look at Frozenheim. We have learned that this is not only a city builder, but it's also more of an RTS game. And that's fine. And what we're gonna do today is proceed with the final invasion of the enemy's island. How's that gonna go? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll try to make it work, right? Somebody had an idea in the comments that I should send my scouts to go and try steal the enemy's boats. That's probably not gonna work, you know, it's just two scouts chilling out here. But I can certainly attempt to do so. And we'll see how it works out. But in, in the meantime, I'm just gonna grab my army who's been chilling at home for ages now. Let's grab you four and go on a boat. And then let's grab you four and go on a boat. I'm pretty sure it said like four units can go on a boat. So hopefully this is going to be big enough. If not, we're going to have to build more boats. Don't get stuck there now. All right, let's see if it works. Yes, yes, we can actually do this. Perfect, perfect. Our boats are going to be ready soon. And that does mean we're not going to have any protection back at home and... I probably should do something about that, but, you know, that's details. Now, uh, let's send them, let's bring them, like, out here somewhere. Where was that beach? Let's bring them here. On my way. And then we can uh, walk over land to invade from this side. I think that would be fine. Are you stuck? <laughs> uh, they certainly seem to be slightly stuck. Oh, boy. Now please unstuck yourself and make thyself come over here. Oh, they're just gonna try to go straight, aren't they? You're gonna... No, no, don't... D dude, this is, a, this is a wall. Back at home, I'm gonna quickly uh, put down a couple more houses. And the reason for that is so we can, you know rebuild a couple more warriors to protect our base back at home we got plenty of food we got plenty of everything so this really really shouldn't be that big of a deal you know it shouldn't be a problem for our guys and our ships are still going so hey that's that's good that's good where's my where's my scouts let's go let's go steal something from these dudes let's see if we can steal their boat actually i should probably scout around a bit our ships are kind of close, actually. Very nice, very nice. Good to know. We get to see what these guys have. Now, I'm guessing our goal is to burn that. That would be our main goal. They don't seem to have many like people chilling around. There's their watchtower. And, uh, ooh, our scout just got sniped. Holy shit. That, I did not expect that watchtower to do so much damage. Not gonna lie. But their village is much smaller than ours. Looking at it now. 100% much smaller. I don't see any enemies. There's the ship. Jump the ship, dude. Steal their ship. Go, go. Can we do it? Ah, uh, you can't steal their ship? Ah, uh, it's sad. Okay. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna make a diversion. We're gonna distract. Scout? Burn the fisherman's hut. Yeah. And everybody's gonna be like, oh, the enemy is there. No, no, no. The enemy is not there. Uh, how do I disembark you now? It's a good question. This way. Perfect. Just just click on land. You got this. Disembark. Let's go. No, no, no. Perfect. Alright, now we have our whole army over here. The man's still burning this place. <laughs> There's nobody coming to do anything about it. All right, then. I queued up some more units back at home, just so we have, you know, some extra boys if needed. Uh, if there's anybody else that's going to come invade us. I have actually no idea how many, how many enemy units there could be, or how many enemy places. Really, no idea. Looks like these guys have taken on, a, like, a circular formation. So we know that that place is the one we have to burn first. Because that thing... No, no, not that thing. That thing right there. Enemy ship appeared. Hey, there you go. They're coming. All right, well... We're shooting them. So that's good. I got it. Oh, they're, they're definitely trying to burn this. All right, Let's get in here. Get in here, boys. 
It's gonna be hard to protect, but as I said, we have more people queued up. And since they're not burning this till the end, we actually get to have power here. Okay, go defensive stance. If that's gonna help, I don't know. Oh yeah, we're actually winning over here. Oh, let's go. These guys are bringing water. Oh, victory! Victory, boys. Very nice. Okay, the Berserkers are also coming. You guys go and, like, we're gonna replenish Almost. your numbers. Oh, the man got killed. I don't know how, but uh, he got killed. I think we did burn one of their shacks. So, that's a bonus. And actually, back at home, I know we're invading right now, but back at home, I have figured out how to fix this thing. Boys, we can actually do this. No, 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 no. Oh, that ship is in the way. Is this ship in the way? That ship is in the way. Ah, shit. No, no, just, just do this. Yeah? There you go. Okay, we can, we can do this. Put a gate there. Yeah? And if we move that ship, we can we can do something like this. We can go around here. But yeah, that, that stupid ship is in the way right now. Wait, you can't connect this? Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, you guys, go, go steal this ship. Jump on this warship. Uh, I want to see if we, can, if we can move it. I like to move it, move it, this, this ship. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that works, right? There's a slight opening over here. Perfect. You know, a bit more of a double fence over here, but now we're fully fenced in. You'll love to see it. All right, uh, these guys are kind of cold in the winter, it seems. Oh, no, uh, it just, there's no production right. in the winter for those guys. That's, that's acceptable. Okay, so, now, we're gonna still put the troops over here. You guys are facing the wrong direction, this way. And put the troops over here. You know, anybody comes, we're gonna be ready for them. Put the archers behind acceptable now let's go back to the invasion force i would like archers to be behind but you know details let's sneak through the forest first and we're gonna just slowly and surely go around I'm gonna burn their houses so they can't replenish their boys you know and this should be fast because we have so many troops yeah you see how fast we burn that i think this is their like weaponsmith or something like that perfect uh you know what i forgot where is my weaponsmith? Is this the one? No, that's hunters. Uh, that one. I needed to research more of this. Just, uh, just do everything. Unit speed, range damage, projectile damage. Just, just go for all of them. You know, all of them. How are we doing on research? Yeah, we can do. No, we don't need bandits. Let's go level four. And now we can choose. Oh, we can choose the deer clan, or as it should be known, stack clan. I see. Or Crow Clan. Uh, let's go Exploration and Mysticism. Yeah. Solar Stone. We can get solar power! <laughs> Wait, not really, but hey. Sure. Uh, let's go Shrine. We're gonna research Shrine. Okay. Perfect. Uh, how are we doing back here? I got it. You know what? The winter's done. We're good. Burn more of their houses. Is that their troops or they're just lost? I think they, these guys are just lost. Look at how fast we burn stuff <laughs> with this huge army. Enemy army appeared. Okay, okay, we actually have an army. Boys, kill. kill. Indeed. Indeed. Get them. Uh, these guys are not dying fast enough. You would think they would die much faster. We burned the, the thing down before anything else. All right, uh, it looks like some people were still burning the house, so that's fine. Enemy ship, enemy ship. Oh, it's here, and they have two scouts on it. That's that's all they have. You know what? Burn more of their stuff. We're gonna burn their whole village. Building under attack. Uh, excuse me. Who's attacking this? What? <laughs> uh, you know, you guys put out a fire or something. That'd be perfect. We are under attack. No, we're, oh! Archers! Archers! Get him! No, no, not that thing. Archers! Attack the archers. 
Yeah, we're all taking some damage. I didn't even realize. These archers should die pretty fast. Now, pull back, pull back. We need to destroy those gates. Actually, we don't need to. Because these guys have an opening there. Alright, push through. Burn that tower. Burn that tower. Yeah, they're not even using the gates. to go going just through here. <laughs> Alrighty then. Invade. We lost quite a few people so far. Uh, but not not that bad. Not that bad. Yeah, burn this tower. This tower, tower is basically the, the evil. Good. Uh, their training center. Actually, just burn this, this door. There, just burn this door. Burn this thing. We need to destroy their training center or training field. Then they can't rebuild an army and we can just keep on burning stuff. Can we go? No, please. Oh, you, yeah, you can do this. You can see that even with a small army, we just destroy everything so fast. And this is their, their main building. If we destroy this, I don't think they can do anything else to us. Right? We shall be victorious. Let's see. What happens when we destroy this? Hey, game one! <laughs> Easy money. It's, is that it? Do we not even get to play and build our city anymore? Oh. Well... Yeah, that was, uh, that was easy. That was also Frozenheim. So, clearly, like, this was, this was, um, I just went with a new game, right? Clearly, this needs to have a bigger difficulty. You can see the start is different than what we had earlier, so that's, that's good. But I don't know if there's any difficulty... There is no difficulty right now. So this clearly needs a bumper in the difficulty. Because sure, they invaded us a bit early on, right? As we played. We, we got invaded slightly. But really, that's about it. Yeah, that, that's that's really about it. As soon as, soon as we uh, defeated those early invasions, it was just, you know, just build a couple of troops, build two ships, and you just destroy them. The enemy wasn't ready for us in any way, shape, or form. So, clearly the, the normal game needs a difficulty upgrade. Now, I presume if you play with your friends or against your friends, that's where you would get difficulty. But a lot of people don't play these games to play multiplayer, right? They just, they just play for fun and because they want to build a city. And uh, I think this really shouldn't be called a city builder. Like, in my opinion, this shouldn't be called a city builder, because we've seen, you know, you can really just build in the circle, and, you know, then, then that's it. You know, you can't go and expand, like, over there and build some more stuff over there. Let's actually load up back to the, uh, back to the old save, just to, just to see that, right? It's, um, I think this truly is, I mean, it's not a proper RTS, it's more of a, hmm, it's, it, sure, it's a blend before, between a city builder and RTS, but I really wouldn't call this a city builder at all, this game. It's more, you know, you prepare and then you fight. Like, hmm, I'm, I'm sure in campaign there's going to be a lot more to do. I only played through the first uh, game of the campaign that has all the narrative stuff and all that, so it's certainly going to be... Uh, more interesting in, in that regard. And I would love to have more things to build. Like, we basically built everything in this this tiny area. Sure, you have a couple of, you know, normal city builder things where you, you know, kind of have to keep the happiness of your houses up to to get more people, etc., etc. Et but, uh, I mean, it's, with a bit of min-maxing, you can really get some nice population boosts that way. Resources don't seem to be a problem at all. Like, we had... Two fishing huts this whole time and then we built like one hunter and we had food it, it never even was a question of food like we had one logger and then we built another one but even with one logger we had enough wood to go like the only problem was getting steel but it was just the the fact of getting up our bloomery you know I was taking my time getting up bloomery getting up the the guys to pick up the the box steel but the thing is now the deposits are gonna go. We're gonna run out of deposits. And I wonder how you do that then. Do you just permanently run out? Or do you have to have your people go all the way out here? 
I guess that would be acceptable. You know, if you have like real long run games. But I don't think like in normal games like this, unless you try to play peaceful and just defensive, you know, just wait for enemy to attack you. The games are not really going to be last long. Because there was just only one enemy out here. I don't know. So, my opinion right now. The game has big promise. So far. I know they are definitely planning a lot more to be added to the game in the future. You know, the game is still just in early access. So, I would say keep your eyes on it. I, I certainly enjoyed the bit I played. The couple of hours I played. It certainly was an enjoyable experience. But I think there's still a lot that is missing. A lot that could be here, and I think for those that really enjoy city builders, right? Because it is it is promoted as a city builder, right? For those that really enjoy city builders and looking for games like Banished, what they need to do is either remove the circle or have buildings that will extend the circle, you know, outposts or something like that, and have a peaceful mode where you can just have the whole map to yourself, you can just build, 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 and have a lot more issues with, you know, food shortages, wood shortages, all kind of stuff like that. You know, what usually the city builder people uh, who enjoy playing like games like that, I enjoy that as well, per personally, uh, would deal with, rather than deal with the RTS thing, you know. But then again, it is a Norse Viking uh, city builder slash RTS, which means that there gotta be violence, right? We are Vikings, we love smashing people in. And uh, I like the way the troop composition is, you know, I would love to see more like special unit abilities. You know, these guys have shield wall, that's perfect, you know, they're good against range uh, boys, right? And the range can go for their precise shots, you know, for extra accuracy. And uh, we have our guys who can go rage over here. Now, spearmen don't have any special abilities, spearmen usually work best versus calorie in most games and in history, right? So, I, I don't think Vikings gonna have much calorie going on over here. In any case, there's still a lot that could be done to this game. For now, as it's right now in early access, you know, just released, it shows a lot of promise, but there's still a lot that could be done here, and I hope when I revisit this game in the future again, we're gonna see those those things. Let's hope so. For now, thank you everybody for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this short series, and I'll see you guys next time.